It's one of the most important things I've ever done, top five, because as a little girl, I grew up going there. And here I am um, getting to sing at something that I, it goes, I guess I was five years old when I first went to the Kentucky Derby. I want to say maybe a little later in life, but I was, uh, we were so poor. I just remember being just this little girl, you know, with her granddaddy and being there. And now here I am. I feel like Miss America. I mentor some uh, some women here in Nashville who are um, African-American new artists as well as established artists. And I think it's really great for them. I think it's, what is that term? Um, the rising tide lifts all boats. What I think of professionally is how this has to be a blessing to so many women in the business that are coming up in the business who um, are wanting to be heard. It's happening right this minute and it's got everybody talking, doesn't it? And then, Beyonce does. Yeah. I don't know if country music as a whole does. No, but Beyonce no does. I'm talking about, I'm talking about everywhere I've gone in the last couple of days, someone has brought up this conversation, whether it's you and me or just a friend of a friend someone I don't even know uh, and I were having a conversation about it. And I just said, you know what? It's about freaking time. I think it's important for us to open the door for the next generation, period. I am working on a new record because that's what we do in the, it's like being a farmer. You know, you plant your crop in the spring and you wait for the harvest and the harvest will come as soon as I get this record done. Um, I just did a duet with Lainey Wilson. I'm always doing something. I'm one of those pioneers that just jumps out there and puts myself in the middle of the party and says, okay, I'm here. Let's do this. And um, I have numbers of some rock stars that I'm going to look up pretty soon and say, okay, let's do what we talked about at the last party we were at together. And let's do this because it's time. Everybody from Reba to uh, Post Malone to... I have all these numbers now that I've been running into people and just saying, okay, come on, let's write a song. You know, I'm not afraid. Let's do it.